Six months ago, an airplane carrying an atom bomb crashed while flying over the Arctic Ocean. The bomb exploded, shattering the huge ice floes and releasing from the depths Gamma Ra, the fabled monster who had been imprisoned in the ice for thousands of years. Gamera's first action after he was freed from his long captivity was to attack Japan. All man-made weapons proved powerless against him. There was only one last resort, the Z plan. Gamera was jettisoned to Mars in a rocket. Again, there was failure. The rocket crashed into a meteor and split open, liberating Gamera from the capsule. Gamera returned to Japan and attacked the Kurobe Dam, the largest of its kind in the entire Orient. Gamera must have a source of fuel, and so from the power plant he extracted electricity to store in his own body. Oh, hey, what's that? Hey, it's Gamera! Gamera! Gamera loves flames. He left Japan as suddenly as he had arrived and headed for Mount Uzal in the equator, lying directly toward the flowing molten lava. Tell me, are you really going to resign? Yeah. This is my last day up here. But you've just earned your wings after so much dedicated work. What made you decide to quit? Tired of flying already? Certainly not. My dream is to continue flying, or else life would be worthless. But that's why I'm quitting now. I want to learn more, so that later I will be more skilled.
Oh, it's you. Come in. My brother. Uh, here's all my money. How much? <laughs> it's my pension. Not a big help? It's no use working for others. I've got to get my own aircraft company, however small. That'll take money. Well, now that we're all here, I'll tell you the plan. During the war, I found a huge opal. Believe me, it was about the size of an ostrich egg. I found it in a cave. Just before I was taken away to a prisoner of war camp, I managed to hide the opal again in the cave where I'd found it. That was 20 years ago. It'll be gone. The cave lies deep in a dense jungle where even the natives never go. I think that it'll be safe. We'll be taking a big gamble. Yeah. <sighs> we'll be able to sell it for an absolute fortune. Are you sure it's a real opal? It's real. It must be. And there might be more as well. Since I can't get away, case of K, you go. For me. Gladly. You'll all go on a cargo boat. Of course. False names, and you'll carry forged papers. You got them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course I have. Cost me a small fortune. For the forgery. This is for you. This one for you. You two will board the ship as ordinary seamen. For God's sake, don't bungle. We're counting on you. Thanks. Okay. The Awaji Maru will reach New Guinea in 25 days. Unload here, and then continue around this area. And then it returns back to the original harbor just about a fortnight later. You three have got that two-week period in which to locate the opal. You mean we're to quit the ship without leave and then reboard it again? Hmm. You can always say, we want to pick up the bones of our buddies who died inland during the war. <laughs> Good <laughs> idea. <Yeah. laughs> then when you get to the airport here, you'll have to charter a helicopter. Case of K, you'll be able to fly it for them. That's why you're here. And next, Money. Remember to take plenty of black market dollars with you. Be careful of the scorpions. You've had it if they sting. The jungle is full of many other dangers as well. So take these just to be safe. Just who do they think we are, anyway? Oh, stop grumbling. Patience. <sighs> hey, you! Huh? That room's filthy. So clean it. Do it yourself. Uh, Not a chance, Buster. Oh. Uh. Watch. Working hard, huh? Why can't you find us some easier work to do? Just stick with it. Uh, help us out. Come on, huh? We have to clean the washroom, too. <laughs> it's no joke. <clears throat> hey. Only three more days. Are you absolutely sure? Mm. Buck up. Don't give it up now. Ah, 
We'll have to walk. It's probably quite far to the cave. Ah. Hey, what is this? Huh? Look, there's writing. Of course there is. It's a guidepost. Not much use if we can't read it. Are they words or pictures? Hey, give me the map, will you? I think that there might be a shortcut through the jungle somewhere. <laughs> hey, watch it. Don't wave that gun, we're quite safe. Look pleased. They helped us a lot during the war. They're good people. So better let me keep it. Give it here, huh? Hey. Ask one of them to be our guide. How can I? None of them understand us. You're wrong. I understand perfectly. Come directly from Japan? Yes. Who are you? A doctor. I've been living and working with the people of these islands for over ten years. Our friend, the doctor, came with his wife to study certain diseases. Then his wife died of the very disease he was curing. He decided to stay here the rest of his life. It is quiet here. I feel now that I belong to this peaceful village. I never even think of my own home any longer. And I've been extremely fortunate, for Karen is my assistant, and an excellent one, too. Oh. By the way, what has brought you to such a backward spot? Well, sir, we've come to investigate a certain cave. It isn't far from here. Hmm. Doctor, do you know where the cave is? Oh, you must not go near that cave. Believe me. And why not? It's called Rainbow Valley. What is that? On that stone, there's a warning to all. It forbids us to go there, and he who disobeys it will not return. But why? Nobody knows. That stone stood there thousands of years, so they say. Only a fool would disobey. Our ancestors handed down a warning that an evil spirit dwells there, and it is dangerous even to approach the Valley of the Rainbow. Then no one here will act as our guide. Certainly not. All the people are begging you not to go. You must respect their wishes on this point. Hey, listen. They don't want anyone to go near that cave. What more proof could there be that there's hidden treasure there? Of course. And they've even created a legend to protect it. The evil spirit is really the Scorpio my brother mentioned then. We'll never get a guide from them. Let's go alone. This way. But what if the treasure really does belong to these natives? So we're going to take it anyway. OK. Hey, let's go. Come on. Hey, but I let's go. No, no. You mustn't go in there. Just wait. Don't go. No! Don't go in there! Hey, watch out! All right, all right. I didn't think this gun would come in handy so soon. Right, now, let's go. Let's stop that! Let's go back! The gods will punish us!
careful. Trust my brother to pick a place like this. We're to turn to the right 15 yards from the entrance, so it must be just ahead of here. Don't be hasty. We made it this far. That's right. Go easy. You do that. Don't scare us. Scorpion. Size of an elephant. One bite from that would be the end. Mm. The gun's proving pretty handy. Hey. We'll share it equally. Whoever finds it, eh? Naturally we will. We're buddies, aren't we? Huh? Yeah. Here. There's something here, under the stone. Help me push. Oh, look at that, a skeleton. Don't tell me that you're afraid of it, huh? Makes me feel bad.
Think of my wife. She'll burst with happiness. <laughs> I'll do just what I please from now on. Just think. Your aircraft. You'll own an aircraft company. You're so pleased I shall go mad. Honor oh, dearie, you say something, eh? Uh. Hey, honor oh, dearie, aren't you happy that we found it? Uh, friendship is worth much more than the opal to me. Ah, here out to share a good friend. Imagine sharing all this with us. Uh, think how happy he'll be that we found it. Oh, yeah. I wish I could tell him. Hey! Here I go! We found the old boy! Well, there's one good thing at least. We've got the opal. We might as well get going. Come on, you can't bring him back to life. Oh. For safety, I'll keep the opal. Hmm? Hey, now. Don't you trust me with it? You can keep the opal. I'll take the gun. Oh. Okay. Wait. There might be other jewels hidden in the cave. I'll bet ours isn't the only one. Let's look now that we're in here.
Come here. What am I doing in this place? We found you in time. You would have been dead. Minutes later. But don't think that we saved you out of kindness. It's fairly clear. That friend of yours found something in the cave. He's gone. There's no need to cover for him. He betrayed you, didn't he? He wanted all of what we found. An opal. Opal? Yes, huge. It was as big as that. My brother hid the opal inside that cave 20 years ago. It was to be shared between us all. of the gods. Do not scorn what even science cannot explain. Something terrible will happen if we don't get it back. Thousands and thousands of lives depend on its return. I see. The opal's worth that much, huh? What you found has no monetary value. Patients here who need you desperately. I will go to Japan. You can't. You've never even been there. It wouldn't be sane for you to go oh, alone. Well, I have no choice. I must try to save these people. My child. Ask him to go with me. Listen, the thing you found wasn't a gem. Do you still think that it was an opal? We're afraid misfortune will follow. That's why we are praying. You don't expect me to believe that story, do you? Something terrible will happen now. The legend warns that the gods will be angry. You've disobeyed the order. None of us has ever dared to visit the valley. You've touched something evil and forbidden. What it can be, I don't know, but it's certainly not a gem. Come in. Well. Ah, doctor. And how are you feeling today? Oh, fine, thanks. Except for occasional shivers, I feel quite okay. Shivers? That's a natural sign of malaria. Don't worry about it, eh? No, I won't. Thanks. You're an odd chap. 
Imagine leaving the ship without permission to go through the jungle for the bones of a buddy who's been dead 20 years. Ah, you picked up athlete's foot as well. Mm. Would you like to treat your foot with the infrared ray lamp? Yeah. Tell me if you'd like to use it. Yes, if I could, sure. Thanks. That's one gift which the jungle needn't have given you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep this lamp on too long. Just about 20 minutes at a time. Yes. Continue it three times each day till you can get to Japan and have it looked at again. That's all right. Is that all? Yeah. Okay. for Marjan. But can't you see that I'm a patient here? I'm not a sailor. So what? The doc sent me. We need one more guy and it's gonna be you. Well, all right, if you insist. Oh. Uh, watch it. Uh. Sorry, that was unfortunate. Uh. If your hair was thicker, you'd be all right. Mm -hmm. Nice, huh? All right, let's get to that game of yours. Okay. All right. Good grief. You like it? You must be awfully suspicious. I got something important in there. Is it precious? Yeah, my friend's bones. His bones? Doctor, play one more game, huh? Well, I hope that I'll be able to win it. Okay, your deal. Go ahead. Hey? No, it's getting late. We aren't going to short it tomorrow. Uh, aren't we? Oh, no, there are. The sick bay door won't open. Why should you open it? To put this flower there. I want to give it to your dead friend. Not now. Some other time. You see, my father died on that island. So your friend doesn't seem like a stranger to me. Open it. An order. Please give him the key. What's going on here? Engine room! Give me the engine room! Engine room! Roger. 
You sure they've got the Yoko? Mm. All right, then. Let me see it. You're asking a very high price. Say this. I, I was lucky. Something important. Mm -hmm. Something important, too. What do you got there? Your friend's bones. You can keep them, you fool. Oh? Huh? They're pig's bones. Mm -hmm. ah, excuse me. Have you come from that ship? I have. Do you know where Kesuke is? Who'd you say? Kesuke. Uh. He was a seaman on the same ship. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. 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 I can't quite remember. Let me see. Um, but, uh... Amara! Amara! Mm -hmm. Thank heavens you're all right. But where's my brother? Case okay. Bad news. What's happened to him then? Sorry. He's dead. Huh? He's dead? Hmm. He slipped and fell into a steep gully inside the cave. Kawajiri, too. I searched for them both through the whole cave. But I couldn't find their bodies. It was terrible. Did you find the gem? Did you? I want to look at it. Of course. I've got it. Uh, is it true? Is it? Let me see it, then. The opal sank when the ship did. Hmm? I was keeping it safe by hiding it in my cabin. I don't believe you. Well, I'm telling you the truth. The sea is very deep right here. A diver can retrieve it. It's come this far. There's no need to give up now. No, no. You're a fool to think we'll ever get it back. You call me when you found it. Till then, I'll keep my money. Goodbye. Well, believe me. Hey! What's that?
with me. We can't put it off forever. It'll be too late. When things quiet down, the police and the insurance company are bound to mess around with that ship. Then we'll never get the Opal back. So we'll have to act now. It's the only chance we've got to find it. First, we'll need money. Oh, I've got quite a bit of money put aside. That's good. Is it in cash? Mm. Then we can hire the diver. Director! Director! The monster is getting nearer to Osaka. What? The radio said so. It'll kill all of us. Let's leave here. Let's get out. Well, we can't pull it up because we've got to leave Osaka. If we go now, we'll lose it. After all the risks I've taken. I'm leaving. Let's go to Kobe. It'll be safe there. No, I'm not going until we brought that opal up here. This confusion is just what we need. Nobody will notice. Not now. Fool! We've got to. No, we'll have to give it up for a little while. I can't give it up. Not after I've killed two men. Anodora! We can't wait longer. Anodora! What was that you said? Tell me. You said that you've killed two men. You've killed them both? No. I only meant they've given their lives for this. Liar! You murdered my brother so that you'd have the opal to yourself. Of course not. You've killed them. You've killed them both in cold blood. No. No.
the monster Baragon is its most powerful weapon. Everything within reach is immediately destroyed. monster can destroy everything with its tongue. So as soon as my men get within its range, weapons are useless. Well then, we'll have to make our next attack on it from some distance. Will that be safe enough? Possibly. We do have one site that's out of his range. Right here, where we have a missile corps stationed, the Suzuka Pass. It'll be too far away. The monster's tongue cannot possibly reach it. Completed preparation, sir. Mm. We are standing by for orders, sir. Right. Begin the attack. Camera is attracted by any form of heat energy. Baragon's rainbow emits an arc of heat, so Gamera is flying toward it over Osaka. by the Missile Corps have proved unsuccessful against Baragon's Rainbow. And here we end the 9 p.m. news bulletin. Further developments will be broadcast as they happen. What a dismal place to be held up with you lot. How long are we going to be stuck here like a bunch of animals? Huh? Why are they making all this fuss about a tawny yes. little monster, huh? Why? Why don't you shut up? You make me sick. Look at it! It's Gamera! Oh, oh, yeah, look, here. there's Gamera! This is the special news bulletin. 
About a month ago, an unsuccessful attempt was made to send Gamera to the planet Mars. The monster has returned and has been causing damage in many parts of the world. Tonight, after discovering the vast quantity of energy stored in the rainbow produced by Baragon, Gamera has swung back to Osama.
vulnerable to the cold. He has been frozen powerless by this new monster. He's finished, but the second monster is unharmed. And now the authorities are without the means to help. They have already used it's every Baragon. method at their disposal. It is. Now the authorities are also checking the purple fluid which is coming from the monster. Attention, it would appear to be the Attention, monster's blood. Tests are being made to determine the component parts of this dog. Carrie. Carrie. What's wrong? Are you ill? Have your passport and other travel documents ready. We've come too late. I just couldn't believe that your story was true. I'm responsible for bringing this. Let's go where he is. As soon as it's possible to get there. You know of a way to get rid of it? Yes, I do. I've got the answer here. Let's hurry to stop all this horror. A jewel? What's that? It was a monster's egg. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I tell you that the opal was the egg out of which the monster hatched. <laughs> it's our fault. You and I brought this destruction here. We're going to kill that monster before it's too late. Don't give me that story. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I've just come from my brother's. He and his wife are both dead. Their house burned. Someone saw you running out of their house just before the fire. You fool! So they're dead. Not my fault. You liar! No. I'm all right. Let's go. Please help me. Hey. Let's go, let's go. Hey, wait. 
I, I apologize. Help me. Don't leave me. Hey! So. May I tell you something, if you please? Yes, go ahead. Baragon is a land animal. Once in the water, his cells melt. Purple blood flows out quickly. At least that is the legend our ancestors have passed down to us. His strength goes rapidly. But also his tongue would become paralyzed and therefore harmless. And it would be easy to approach him and destroy him then. We must lure Baragon to the water and then he'll drown himself. It's the answer. And how do we lure him? With this. Mm. this huge diamond in our village for many generations. But what has the diamond got to do with Baragon? Glittering objects affect him. This will draw him on irresistibly. We can use it to lure him into the water. Does your village have many diamonds this size? Quiet. Huh? Well, just this one is left. Every thousand years, a monster such as this is born in my village. Each time one is born, another of our diamonds must be sacrificed. It is dropped into the lake to lure the monster to its death. If that's the case, I realize how precious this blast diamond is. Are you sure that Baragon will respond as the legend has predicted? If you don't believe in it, you are doubting the gods. We haven't time to waste. It's the only idea that hasn't been tried. We'll set it to work at once. In which direction shall we guide him? Is there a large lake to sink him in? There's Biwa Lake. I can't untie well, it. cut her with that knife. There. An attempt is being made to move hey. Baragon away from Kyoto. Lake <laughs> Biwa is considered the safest place to deposit him. Authorities hope that the 5,000 carat diamond, the largest in the world, will successfully wow, move the Wow, what an incredible the scheme. The A 5,000 carat diamond to be sunk in Biwa Lake just to get the monster. What? Are you sure? Of course. A native girl brought it to Japan. Who told you? The radio announced it. So then. Those natives did have a jewel worth more than I'd ever dreamed of. All right. So I'll get it. In a final attempt to rid Japan of Baragon, Operation Diamond is put into effect. A 5,000 carat diamond is used to trick the monster into abandoning his natural environment, land, for the waters of Lake Biwa. If this legend that the villagers believe in is really true, then kindly tell me why he disregarded the diamond. You know? I suspected the validity of her story from the first time that I heard her speak. 
It was too much of a fairy tale and we should never have listened to her. Besides, I doubt very much that it was a real diamond. If a gem that size existed anywhere in the world, there'd be reports of it. So it failed. But it isn't her fault. She was doing her best to give you her help. Listen. You're just trying to lay all the blame on us. Listen. Just remember that it was your greed that brought all this misery upon us in the first place. But still, we try to help. Be quiet. I acted shamefully, I know. She's blameless. She gave you one possible plan. It's just been a foolish waste of precious time. I know, but it isn't her fault. Don't argue. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Areas to the west have been most recently hit. I have to go now. Ambulances are occupied in transporting victims to the three temporary hospitals set up to accommodate the excessive number of casualties. <laughs> Aid is inevitably <laughs> slow in arriving. Residents are advised to take whatever action they can to treat the wounds of relatives and friends on the spot instead of waiting for the arrival of a medical team. I will repeat that message. Relatives and friends should be treated on the spot well, instead of waiting. In for fact, we're very much obliged to you. You tried your best. Excuse me. This gentleman is Dr. Sato. Ah. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good. This time you've got some real trouble. Ah, huh? we certainly have. Think you can help us? Have you got some suggestions to make? Yes. I believe that Barrigan was exposed to an infrared ray while still an egg. You see, I was on the ship that brought the egg here to Japan. An odorer. Uh, he was the man who found the egg, thinking it was a gem. He was then receiving infrared ray treatment for athlete's foot. Now, it seems quite possible that he forgot to turn the lamp off. It was probably directed towards the egg. We can assume that the egg was exposed to it at very close range and over quite a substantial period of time. So the rays must have speeded up considerably the growth of the monster. And that explains it. Now I understand what's happened. The legend says Baragon should take 10 years to reach his present size. Ah, indeed. Are you certain that it should take 10 years to mature? Yes, I am. Baragon is really a freak with an abnormal body. That's something we doctors can explain. If an expectant mother is exposed to radioactivity, a freak may be born. So then, then that's why it showed no interest in the diamond. That's right. There's no doubt about it. Listen, now that we know that it's a freak, isn't there some different way that we should attack it? There is. Expose the diamond to the infrared ray. Will that do us any good? It will. The infrared ray speeded up the monster's birth. Barrigan must therefore respond favorably to it. Now then, perhaps the diamond, if radioactive, will be effective. Barrigan may respond to it, as you first hoped. Karen, is there any way to make him stay where he is now? There's one possibility. Our villagers have all been praying for rain. If heaven cares, it will send us rain. Why rain? Water will weaken him. Our legend says that the monster cannot move while it rains. But why wait for the gods? Isn't it easy now to create rain? Mm. We'll produce it, all right. Man-made rain from helicopters. A flight of helicopters is sent to fly over Barogan, spraying onto him man-made rain, a mist-like liquid, which, it is hoped, will arrest the monster's movements. At the same time, the rain should make Baragon unable to exhale his freezing vapor, thus rendering him harmless. explain. This machine is called a death ray projector and a ruby is put in to act upon the light molecule. Thus the waves of light are broken down. Right now you can see the machine is in the experimental stage and can't be put to practical use. But now possibly we can employ the diamond instead of the ruby. Let's insert it and try its effectiveness. By all means. 
We're anxious to try it out at once. Turn it on to Barrigan and see if it works. Please start. Begin. Begin. Right. Move forward. Operations ready, sir. Good. Start. Oh. Begin. We'll start. Ah. Start it. <laughs> it's moving. It's moving. Good. Drive on. to lose that diamond. No, don't go. You can't take such a risk. Get out of my way. Oh, no. Please don't go. Come back here. Get away. No, don't go. Don't go.
are now watching the latest in a long series of attempts that has been made to kill the immense monster whose abnormal growth has been produced by infrared rays. The diamond that's from New Guinea, worth an incredible sum of money, has some strange power that will apparently tempt Baragon to follow it. In a minute, the diamond is going to be dropped into Lake Biwara, and if the ancient legend is indeed correct, Baragon will then enter the water and will be drowned. If all's well, the reign of terror will at last be at an end. I just knew that our legend had to be true. Mm, a, a success. At last! <laughs> has failed. Paragon has swallowed the massive diamond. And so now, the only method that we have left to get rid of the monster has now been lost. Get the helicopters. Sir. Have them produce range so Paragon can't move. There is no other way. Sir. It's useless looking around here. We won't find a thing. Ever since I was a child, I've been told of the disastrous rainbow that the monster can make. But no one in the village had seen it. Because one is born only after each thousand years. I wanted to see it with my own eyes. No matter how terrifying it was. No one will ever be able to get rid of it now. It's our punishment for wanting so much wealth. Now, what are these? They look like rear-view mirrors. They're all that's left of the Jeep. But why weren't they destroyed along with everything else? They appear to be impervious. See what that means? There's a weakness in the rainbow. Now, Doctor, isn't the rainbow 
Similar to a death ray projector? Yes. I believe that's right. Seems logical. When the rainbow hit the mirror, it seems to have been reflected in just the way light is. It wasn't harmed, because the energy didn't penetrate it. Ah, I see. Reflected. The principle itself's really a simple enough one. You may have hit on something important. But will this help us? Can we use it against Barragon? Yes, sir. I'm an amateur in these matters, but I have an idea. These flames can reach an extremely intense heat. They can even melt steel. And yet, the stove itself is quite unaffected by all this heat. Now, why? The reason for this is clear. The flames are ejected outwards away from it. But if they're turned in onto the burner itself, what would happen then? There's no gas in this, so it's safe. So you see, the burner can be penetrated by its own flame when exposed to it. In the same way, Barragon can be destroyed. What do you think, sir? Hmm. That's quite an idea. But surely it's impossible to apply it here, on Barragon. I think these can make it possible. These mirrors. We'll make a mirror large enough and reflect his rainbow onto him. So in theory, Barragon will be made to die by his own rainbow. Hmm. How very fitting. All right. Please get ready to carry it out. So the microwave antenna at the summit of Mount Kajika is turned into a mirror in readiness for Operation Rearview Mirror. Hundreds of workmen are employed treating everything that holds the mirrors in place with a mercury preparation. Action is being taken to keep Barragan in one spot. Preparations for Operation Rearview Mirror have been completed. The ground force is making use of all its most advanced weapons in the attack against Barragan. It is hoped that in this way, Barragan will be angered. He will respond by sending out his most powerful weapon, the rainbow. Left by 300 degrees. Left by 300 degrees. Twenty-eight degrees, five seconds. Down, twenty-eight degrees, five seconds. Stop. Correct range. Standing by, sir. Right. We're ready now. Everything's in place to begin. Doctor, won't it be better to wait till night so we can see the rainbow? I agree. We'll wait. There's no one up there, no workmen or others. Oh, no. Everything at the antenna is done by remote control. Oh. Let's start. I think so. Oh, 
Oh, my God. We failed. The rays weren't powerful enough for it. We've got to try again. Listen, we must arouse him to send one more rainbow. No, it won't work. Baragon won't send out another rainbow. But why not? Why not, Karen? I've grown up in the jungle, and I've lived amongst the wild animals, so I know about their ways. When an animal has once been hurt by its own mistake, it will never make the same mistake again. What she says is right. It will never send another rainbow. Operation Rearview Mirror is at an end. Oh, no. There's nothing we can do. Nothing. But now, the buildings frozen by Barogan have begun to thaw. The ice melts away from Osaka Castle. Gamera has regained consciousness. Baragon has weakened and now it's Gamera again. Even in the 20th century, science is powerless against these strange creatures.
look! He's in the water! Mm. It just may succeed. a disaster. All that way, just to bring back anguish. But you did your best to help when you found out. It was you who gave unselfish help. I've learned we should never let greed direct our actions. Karen, I'll take you home back to your peaceful village. Will you? I feel so absolutely alone right now. My only brother's dead. You're not alone. 